Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Digital Marketing Today. Happy to have Kyle Burt here, technology advisor and host of Dialed In. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Digital Marketing Today, everyone. Super excited to have Kyle Burt in the studio with us today. Thanks for coming down and joining us today. Yeah. I've really been looking forward to having a conversation with you. So, yeah, thanks for having me. If there is anyone on the planet that doesn't know about you already, oh, <laughs> that, pl plenty, plenty, <laughs> plenty, I'm nothing. Uh, why don't you? Uh, why don't you give us just a little bit about your background uh, and uh, let us know how you got to where you are right now? Sure. Um, I'm just just a guy like most of most of us out there who. Uh, Trying to figure stuff out. Um, nobody has it all figured out. We're all just like we're all building the plan on the way down, right? Mm -hmm. To use that analogy. But uh, I served uh, ten years with the Federation, the Death Star Corporation. Mm -hmm. uh, almost sucked the life out of me. Mm -hmm. um, learned a lot from them. Uh, put down the blaster. Took out the stormtrooper helmet. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm making fun of AT and T here. I mean, <laughs> if you didn't pick that, pick that up. Uh, <laughs> like I said, put down the blaster, took off the stormtrooper helmet, and uh, joined the rebellion. Yeah. Started uh, my own my own company uh, as a trusted advisor, a technology advisor to um, some of my clients that I had at AT and T, who were struggling with just you know the Swiss Army knife approach of hey buy everything from one company. We're mm -hmm. we're good at some of them, we're not good at others, but buy it anyway. Mm -hmm. So just saw a big gap there and uh, decided to fill it. That's awesome. So I think that's, um, you know, I've talked with other people that have gone from kind of a corporate role and struck out on their own as, you know, as an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a really smart way to do it. Like, you know, while you're working for the corporation, you see opportunities there that maybe your company isn't fulfilling. And then maybe it's an opportunity for you to kind of jump into that entrepreneurial role and service those clients in, in a better way. So um, how, so how long has it been since you kind of made that transition? Oh, geez, it's uh, this is the uh, this is the fourth year now. Cool. Um, so, you know, I guess uh, by the business standards, once you get past that first, the dreaded first year, they right. say you're pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I would probably extend that now to let's see if I get past the fifth year. Right. But you know, so far so good. Um, it's just uh, th there's a strong need for uh, a trusted partner inside of any organization for you know what you guys are what the organization is trying to accomplish. Be it as simple as internet connectivity, phone system integration needs, or as advanced as, you know, hey, how do we not become the next target? Like cybersecurity, awareness, training, all that. Mm -hmm. Like taking all that stuff like in the marketplace, it's just super confusing because mm -hmm. everybody sells all of these things. And buying it from the guy who says that they're the best of the best of the best because he works for that company, mm -hmm. um, that approach works and it used to work very well but it's working less and less right you want more and more of these companies and these you know these leaders these business leaders inside of these organizations are looking for somebody that has their back mm -hmm. that's going to go in there and be like hey here's here's vendor a here's vendor b here's the pros and cons of both i think you should go this way right you know, they're looking for that trust and that sure. relationship no that's awesome uh we get a lot of that too even on the on the media and the marketing side i mean there's just there's so many people out there are just spewing so much <laughs> yeah it's just it's, it's just like, like yeah you see it yeah. on you see it on linkedin land too people right. like connect with you and immediately just spam you with something right. like, yeah well, well, we'll we'll get into that later yeah okay, that's one of my pet peeves yeah. but oh, yeah, uh, me too. Me too. so within catch cloud you have this thing called the battle app mm -hmm. yeah so tell us a little bit about that and what the purpose of that is yeah, so the Battle App is really our, our tool. It's built on Salesforce. It's designed to just take that entire marketplace of technology, um, the technology that organizations are buying, and just dissect it like super quick. Like I can down select based off, oh, you're a healthcare organization, cool. Hippo, uh, we need uh, we need FedRAMP, we need these certifications, we need ISO, whatever. Whatever it is, we can plug that in and boom, just get straight down to the best provider. Um, and we can we use these matrices to like stack them up next to each other so that we can really ethically vet out the best provider right cool. for the business like like does it make sense okay so uh, you want to do a hosted desktop as a service okay well this company's been doing it for a month this company's been doing it for 10 years you know you, we could we could see that next to each other like mm -hmm. we could see that all laid out it's not there's no there's nothing hidden and that's what we're trying to do trying to expose um, expose the truths of what is what is, what solutions are out there what solutions are vetted and what makes the most sense for your business that's awesome 
So anyone out there looking for information, please get in touch with Kyle and, and uh, check out the Battle App. It sounds like a really great tool. Yeah, and, and, the, and the reason why is because, like I said, the Swiss Army Knife approach of like, hey, come on, we do it, we do it all, we do everything. Um, it's it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work because you're not focused on the one thing. Like if you go to a phone company that they do phones and that's what they do, they're going to dominate it. Mm -hmm. if you go to a company that they do they do um, Azure managed managed Azure cloud um, cloud management. They're going to dominate that because that's what they do. Mm -hmm. Right. So sure. that's and once you start to introduce those complexities, um, that's why that's where the IT director or the business leader there starts to be like, okay, well now I got to manage twelve different vendors because there's, these 12 are good, there are 12 things, mm -hmm. uh, respectively, yeah. but who's going to manage them? Right. That's where I come in. Yeah. Cool. We do, we do something similar with our business model because I, I actually I feel the same way. It really bothers me when, you know, like you go to somebody's uh, marketing company's website and they have just like, you know, 30,000 different, you know, yeah. things that are their core services, right? Right, right. So, you know, our deal is we're a video center of digital marketing, so we really concentrate, you know, our core competency is on the video content side. We offer other services, but we're really transparent with, like, key strategic partners that we come in, but also we will manage that whole process and the whole project so the, so the client only has, like, one point of entry that they need to come to to find right. out information, you know, to make it easy yeah. on them. So, and, that, yeah. and, and, I, and I think, I believe, and that that's what the marketplace actually wants right now is they yeah. want that. Mm -hmm. And it's not just what I think, but I believe it's what you're seeing, what we're yeah. seeing out there. Right. Right? Um, if you go to a company's webpage and some guy shows up with a banjo and he starts like, singing off all the services that they offer, it's like, <laughs> really? Right. Could you really do all those? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Very cool. Well, I know I want to kind of change gears a little bit. Um, so we met in person. We were connected already, but we met in person at a LinkedIn local event. I know you're the host of uh, LinkedIn local Plano, right? Yep. Um, and uh, it was it was a really great event uh, oh, that you. I went to. Um, our our other dear friend Katie Wallace was your co-host for that event. So yep. yeah, so uh, that's how I got there. Um, but one of the things that I really uh, think is awesome about the LinkedIn local events is it's this philosophy of taking online connections and 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 taking those offline and vice versa offline connections and taking them online. Right. Um, so, what made you kind of want to become the host of that? You know, the LinkedIn local events, and and what kind of benefits have you seen from that? Sure. Um, I, I guess for the I don't I won't take this way way back, but um, you know I'm in business. I'm, I'm an entrepreneur, so I got to wear every single hat. I have to do the finances. I got to be the sales guy. I got to be the marketer. I got to be all these things to all these different people to keep my business going. And one of the areas that I just, you know, I just see just a struggle for everybody is like the sales hat, you know, because you put that sales hat on and what are you, what are you doing? Are you cold calling people? Are you LinkedIn spamming people? <laughs> are you cold emailing people? And like you talk to 10 different people, they'll tell you 10 different ways to do it. What, what my approach is just, um, you know, enough of all of that, like be, behind just, I want to make a transaction with you. Do you want to buy this thing now? Behind that. Um, there's a human being here. Uh, let's connect on a personal level first. Let's start to build a relationship first. And if we do business together, great. If not, that's great. But let's let's like let's put the stigma of hey, we're doing, trying to do a transaction together. Put that away for a second and just like connect with one another. Yeah. And you know it's 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 really it's kind of a difficult thing for some people to grasp right away, but it's. Once you start doing that and you just have like a giving mentality of just, hey, I'm going to put on this event. Um, I don't know that it's going to bring us any financial gain at all. The purpose of it is not financial gain. The purpose of it is just bringing people together who have a common interest, aka LinkedIn in this case, mm. and just meeting each other. Yeah. Some people call it H2H, uh, human to human movement. <laughs> um, uh, somebody said this, uh, this one guy said it best. He said, it's not B to B, it's me. To be okay, that's because cool. businesses don't <laughs> like you know Coca Cola doesn't call up uh, Frito Lay and say hey we're gonna do business. No, there's a guy at Coca Cola that calls up a guy at Frito Lay and then they <laughs> talk. So people are doing business, not businesses. Yeah. But we got stuck in this mentality of oh it's B to B or B to C. Right. No, it's me yeah. to a business. Right. And vice versa. I like that. I'm gonna steal that. Yeah, me okay. to be. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> cool. 
Ra well, Raj Daniels. Uh, there, there it is. Okay, we'll give I, him credit. I had to plug him. There you go. Good I'm job, fine. Raj. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, that leads me to kind of a different part of our discussion, but I think this is a good time to take like a little short break first. Sure. So when we come back on the other side of the break, I want to talk about your uh, Dialed In uh, live podcast show that cool. you do every week and let you plug that a little bit and kind of talk about that. And we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, LinkedIn marketing because you do a really great job at that. And uh, maybe you have like some advice or tips and tricks that you can share with our audience. Sure. So um, one of the things that we do every week on Digital Marketing Today is you see this great piece of artwork that's, uh, that's behind us here. We like to recognize and promote local artists. So our artist uh, for today that we're promoting is Rob Denton. He's a uh, local Dallas artist and he's represented by our friend David Call of David Call Designs. Uh, the contact information is there on the screen if you like this piece of artwork. It's called When Paul Met Willem. And it's a representation of a photograph that uh, Rob Denton saw of Paul McCartney and, and Willem de Koenig. So it's in the style of Willem de Koenig and uh, kind of represents, he was inspired by that uh, photograph that he saw of the two of them together. Uh, so if you like the artwork, give us a shout out. Go check out Rob Denton uh, and check out uh, David Call designs uh, who represents our artists that we bring into the studio so we're going to take a short commercial break to recognize our sponsor for today's program and we'll be right back on digital marketing today Welcome back to Digital Marketing Today. We're continuing our discussion with Kyle Burt today. So we were just kind of breaking the, the uh, glass there as far as uh, LinkedIn goes and talking about LinkedIn local events, uh, which you host up in Plano. I also want to talk about your uh, live podcast that you do. Obviously, we're into video podcast and, a little, you guys and, are a little bit in, yeah, and then doing little live bit. programming just a little bit of, a, of an obsession yeah <laughs> but i really enjoy your shows uh, dialed in mm -hmm. is the name of the show and mm -hmm. wednesdays at 10 a.m mm -hmm. central yep. right yep. so tell us a little bit about that and kind of the the uh inspiration behind the show and the type of content that you're that you're putting out there sure so um i follow I follow the Gary Vee content model, so if anyone out there knows what I'm talking about, then mm -hmm. you know. If not, look it up. It's mm -hmm. an 83-page uh, content model. Um, it's funny, I was doing it before he released it, and mm -hmm. so when he released it, it's just like, yep, cool. All right. like, affirmative, we're, right. we're on track. Yeah. And that is that is simple. It's, it's have a pillar type of show. Um, don't be the commercial, be the show. Nobody watches commercials, so if you're trying to get your message across in business, Whatever, I don't care whatever your business is, it doesn't matter what, what it is, whatever you're trying to get attention first to then grow your business, you need to capture our attention and you're not going to do so with commercials. Mm -hmm. You're going to capture our attention by being the show, having something of value, having something interesting, entertaining, inspiring, uh, or what have you. So that's kind of that's kind of the premise behind it. Mm -hmm. And then I, I fell in love with doing this. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, me and another guy named Kyle had a show called Coffee with Kyle's. Yeah. Uh, it, it was pretty successful to my definition of success mm, sure. and it was it was great fun more mm. important than anything else it was yeah. a lot of fun so I kind of like caught the bug of all of this sure then yeah. um, and you know he and I had, a, had went different ways but the show goes on for me so I mm. had to find something else um, I was paralyzed a little bit with like what I'm gonna do next mm. and then I just went so the name of the show was first called connected with Kyle on mm. the same naming scheme of copy with Kyle's mm. and then this this concept of dialed in like literally like was born during the live shows because mm -hmm. what I would do is I would allow people to actually dial into the show right one of the areas of the, my business I actually sell phone systems right dialed in uh, people are dialed into their craft you just kind of like right bled together so yeah, it's, beautiful it's something yeah. that we're it's still a work in progress it's yeah. still something that uh, we're building a plan on as yeah. we fall to yeah. the sky every day <laughs> um, generally speaking we have, we have a lot of IT directors on now mm -hmm. IT people on so technology focused but it's not completely 100% that I'd say it's like 70% sure IT focus and then 30% yeah. whatever I feel like that day sure yeah. yeah 
No, that's awesome. Yeah. I, I think it's really cool that you that it's a dial-in show too. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of takes. I mean, there it's uh, uh, for those of us who are kind of venturing into this world of uh, of live video and mm -hmm. kind of slash podcast and right. You know, it's kind of amorphous kind of you right. know, thing that's out there. Right, it's this evolution that's happening right now. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's kind of a uh, to me, it's kind of an old school kind of approach. You know, as far as a dial-in show, so that's one of the things that I really like about it. And, yeah. and it happens to like dovetail perfectly in with you right. know your industry and your expertise. So I, I think it's brilliant. It so, does. I had um, I I think uh, I mean we definitely set the record because LinkedIn is like brand new to watch me anyway. But we had a seven-way phone call. Oh, wow. on on this show, <laughs> and this is something that like I had I had like a crazy you know we get these crazy dreams like right. I had this crazy dream like four or five years ago like hey I wonder if I could have like somebody come on like every two minutes dial somebody else in, and I forgot about it while we were live I'm like you know what I'm gonna there's all these people were texting me they wanted to call into the show I'm like let's we're, we're doing this we're okay. doing this now yeah. and like every two minutes I had somebody else call in yeah, that's and cool. it was it was wild yeah. it was awesome that's really cool and somehow nobody talked over each other. Yeah, it actually worked. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. So we're gonna wrap up here in a little bit, but um, going back to the whole LinkedIn thing, I mean, you mentioned something before about just coming right out of the gate and trying to sell mm -hmm. on LinkedIn. That's mm -hmm. one of my pet peeves. So obviously, that's what not to do. Right. Let's. Uh, why don't you give us an example, and it could be a personal example, or maybe just you know, kind of a generic example. Uh, for those listening, um, in a couple of minutes, like what would be your approach to maybe uh, searching for reaching out to someone on LinkedIn that you really wanted to connect with, that you think you could do business with? What's your approach on how to reach out to them, how to interact with them, and get to that point where you can start having a conversation? Sure, I'll make this real simple. Like if I wasn't creating content, because obviously that's what I have chosen to do is create content and go that direction. But if I wasn't creating content, then what I would do is I would identify some individuals that I think I want to work with, that I think I can provide value to, and I would try to provide them as much of value as possible up front. So I would learn as much as possible about them, about their role, like what, what I think keeps them up at night, what I think their struggles are, and try to provide value. Don't even, don't even mention the word, like, talk about getting a meeting to sell you like if there's something like if there's something that relates to a CIO in healthcare for instance like and that's who you're trying to talk to like send him something of that he might he might hear he or she might like to see that might bring value to their day and and it's going to take time it's going to take 7 8 9 12 34 times uh, you know before you can actually get to that point where you you can actually ask for that meeting or ask mm. for that sale but you got to feel that out it's going to be different for every single person you talk to because if you focus on the relationship first and put the sale secondary, and I know that's like I know that's super twisted for sales managers out there and salespeople listening mm -hmm. to this, but if you do that, your business will will grow tenfold. Thank you very much, Kyle, for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the time and for all the great tips and uh, and sharing your experience with us. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll be back next week on Digital Marketing Today with another one of my favorite people, Fanny Dunnigan. We're really looking forward to that conversation as well. Have a great week, and thanks for joining us on Digital Marketing Today.